It's Derek Chamblay. Uh, it's uh, Thursday night, December 1st, 2016, and uh, we wanted to talk again about uh, Donald Trump's path to victory, the Supreme Court, the House, the Senate, and <clears throat> the Supreme Court, and uh, somehow get our message through that uh, Donald Trump has not uh, conquered the presidency yet. He's not won the presidency yet until these recounts are finished. Uh, Derek Chamblay, it's Thursday, winding up on 6.30 in the evening from Atlanta, Georgia, December 1st, 2016. And uh, it's very troubling today, uh, the particular breaking stories about more uniformed, badged police officers uh, being shot and killed around the country. And if there's one opportunity to prevent the presidency of Donald Trump, it must come now. But he must be given an opportunity to make a defense as to why he is fit to be the president of the United States. Because <clears throat> the turmoil in the cities. It's the turmoil in the 100 largest cities in the United States of America. And if you check the voting tracks, the 100 largest states, population-wise, in the United States of America did not vote for Donald Trump. And it's going to be very, very difficult for him to govern this nation especially if he does not have any kind of an idea about constitutional law, if he doesn't have any idea about the law, then ultimately the Supreme Court must make this decision to certify this election. But if the high-ranking Republican leaders and the high-ranking uh, uh, leaders from the Democratic Party in the House and the Senate that have come out publicly in the media and said that he's not fit to be president, if they do not allow him an opportunity for a defense, that would not be the way that we handle things legally in the United States of America. This is Derek Chamblay, Cyber Citizen Network. <clears throat> Wondering if anyone can understand this that we need time for these recounts in states like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. We need time to investigate whether or not the cyber, in the cyber world, that the cyber security of our voting apparatus throughout the country, but especially in the state of Florida, has been breached and compromised. Uh, and we've suggested that the U.S. Department of Justice, by way of its investigative arm, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, investigate the campaigns of Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio out of Florida, and the Leon County red team, so-called red team of hackers that are paid by Leon County to examine whether or not they can hack into the cybersecurity of the Florida voting machines. These are the kinds of things that we need to be investigated by the U.S. Department of Justice. However, there has been a massive failure, a massive failure on the part of the current president, a massive failure on the part of the current attorney general, and some sort of deal uh, it appears between uh, <clears throat> the Clinton campaign and the Trump campaign that uh, there will not be any particular prosecutions that will follow accordingly. Because on both hands, on both hands, there are questions as to whether or not either one of them 
is fit to be commander-in-chief over the apparatus, the military apparatus of the United States of America. And there are other questions involved here, which revolve around the Central Command based out of Mc MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Tampa, Florida, and the mayor of Tampa, uh, Bob Buckhorn, and the Criminal Intelligence Bureau of uh, the Tampa Police Department, in collaboration with Homeland Security, in collaboration with the Central Command out of Tampa, that they have engaged in domestic spying, and that the next president will not only have control over the military apparatus of one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful nation in the world, the great nation of the United States of America, you will also have control over the sheriff's departments in the counties that this particular president-elect Donald Trump has won. And he'll have control over the chiefs of police and the mayors of the largest cities in the United States of America and their particular quasi-military urban operations. And this is where the struggle will continue. There will be protests. There will be times when a president is saying he's going to prosecute those for their words. That's what that's what President-elect Donald Trump has already been quoted as saying. And so we have this time now to examine the campaigns, to examine whether or not there was massive election fraud committed by the Jeb Bush and the Marco Rubio campaigns in collaboration with their donors and their PAC committees. We have an opportunity to examine where these email leaks have uh, originated. I would direct them, we would direct them to the Leon County Red Team Hackers and any deal in collaboration with the Jeb Bush Florida political machine and the Bush family sci spy network and any kind of sharing of data with Russian hackers and President V. Putin of Russia. This is Derek Chamblay. It's December 1st, 18 days before the meeting of the Electoral College. December 1st, 2016. This is Cyber Citizen Network broadcasting from Atlanta, Georgia. Derek Chamblay. Yes. Jesus is king. Thank you very much.